And now uh, we'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Kolas Tole, uh, who is the head of the VAL Special Economic Zone. He's the CEO uh, thereof. Uh, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Mr. Slo. Now, Tina, we, we, we just hear the acronyms yes, thrown yes, around. Yes, you know, yes, yes, uh, DBZ, SEZ, yes. DBZ, yes, yes, SEZ, yes, 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 yes. E, e, special economic zones, yes. what are they? So special economic zones are an industrial development instrument that was established. Uh, the act itself is in 2014, but the SEZ date back to industrial development zones like mm. Guha uh, in, the, in, the, in, in PE in the Eastern Cape. The, and East London IDZ, those are some of the coastal ones that are some of the first. Mm -hmm. the, uh, is there a difference between an IDZ and the SEZ? In fact, the Act is what defines that difference. But everyone must be transitioned into the new Act as an SEZ. So what was called an SEZ before is now... Sorry, what was called an IDZ before mm -hmm. must also transition into being an SEZ. But oh. the concept is pretty the mm -hmm. same. It's an area that is geographically defined where you concentrate uh, resources and bring knowledge, uh, sector expertise, industrial infrastructure, uh, incentives, so that you can have um, a more concentrated attention to a particular industrial area uh, that can then have benefit on the broader economy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so it's, it's defined in law, and they so there's a few that are already designated and licensed and operating, mm -hmm. and there are others that are, are being developed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what 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 causes us to say okay, we want a special economic zone in the VAR? Okay. As opposed to, for example, we don't have one in the in Joburg, okay. in the middle of Joburg. Yes, yes, you know, yes. What, what, it's what a, it's a the, good question. What, what is the different economic activity that, yes. that happens there? It's a good question. So the instrument itself allows. Uh, access to a variety of support uh, mechanisms from government. It's where you concentrate. So you want to identify an industrial base in an area and then say, you know, in, because you could look at it as an industrial park, but it's, it's more than an industrial park. So you want to an, identify an area where you want to be very um, determined about which sectors you want to promote which uh, service, which uh, investors you want to attract so that they, you know, the people of, you know, it's of the same ilk are in the same area uh, and there are lots of opportunities for uh, cross-selling to each other and developing the capability of a sector in, in, in a particular area. So you, SEZs are in that context. I'll make one example quickly, which is the Tswane Automotive SEZ, which is dedicated to the automotive sector where you have a big investment like Ford, um, in, in totally over 28 billion rands of investment that's happened there over the last four years. Mm -hmm. And when you have a Ford that requires suppliers, so you attract those suppliers as well, component manufacturers, local, international, who then supply Ford, who then makes the Ranger, which is then exported mm -hmm. uh, to the rest of the world. And they are located in the same area, is that the in, concept? In the same that area, that's the concept. This mm -hmm. one is located in Silverton and Pretoria. Mm -hmm. So that's the example. Now, in the Houghton context, we talk of development corridors. The southern corridor is called is where the valley is located. Mm -hmm. The northern corridor is Tuane, mm -hmm. eastern corridor is Urlene, etc. Mm -hmm. So the southern corridor is where the 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 VAL is located, uh, mm -hmm. the Citibank District Municipality. Okay, okay. And, and, and yeah. Let, 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 let's talk about that. Yes. Yeah. Just what, what, why was it decided that, what, what was there in the VAL that, that said to government, yes. we're going to have an SEZ? Yeah. Okay. So you would know, uh, we talk of the VAL as a region, as, as the birthplace of industrialization in South Africa. Mm -hmm. If you go to the economic history of South Africa, mm -hmm. you would know that that's where we started you know, manufacturing activity, uh, beneficiation, mm -hmm. in, uh, and we've started some of the first power stations what, because we dug the stuff out of the ground and we were mm -hmm. just shipping it. Mm -hmm. So to, to, to beneficiate it, it started, in fact, uh, in the Val. This, this is what, steel, that we're talking about? The, so, or what so, are we talking about? So we're talking about most mineral processing and beneficiation mm -hmm. still being being mm -hmm. one of it mm -hmm. still still became dominant mm -hmm. because of the role of 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 Arcelor Metal now which mm -hmm. was ESCO um 
And then, but you also have Sasol in that basin. You remember okay. yeah. in yeah. Sasol Bank, we have mm. Sasol. Mm. We have many other companies there that mm. are large uh, multinational enterprises today. Mm-hmm. But that is that is how the Val economically got to its peak oh, when okay. when the mm-hmm. steel industry and the and the mining industry uh, were, were dominant in the area, creating thousands of jobs. Mm-hmm. And the, in answer to your question, the reason we have to have a special economic zone. Uh, in that area is to reverse the decline in connectivity that has happened there because the steel industry is collapsed mm-hmm. because uh, industry is now greening a lot more so we come from a, a history of of more heavy industry there that has led to some pollution mm-hmm. so there's a collaboration between the private sector and the and and, and the public sector to to basically decarbonize and change the industrial growth trajectory of the Val mm-hmm. onto a low carbon path. That is the substance of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So if, when we look at the, the as it stands now, mm. uh, what, what are the composite uh, yeah. sectors there? So you would still the have... Presumably still. Is yeah, big. still still is big. Mm. Uh, you have heavy industry. Anything that is like manufacturing beneficiation, sorry, mm. mineral beneficiation, you have the petrochemical industries around... Uh, around Sassol. Uh, under, around Sassol. Mm. But the valley is wide. You also have you have the mid valley. You have Heidelberg, which is part of the same uh, district. You have uh, Mfulene. Uh, Mfulene is where you have all of these heavy industries around in, in Fandebel Park and Ferienheng, where you have those industries uh, and and ancillary industries. But you also have agro processing. You also have energy. You also have food businesses, massive businesses like Karan. who are located in in Lesedi. You have Escort. You have British American Tobacco. We have a lot of industries across all value chains. So the SEZ itself, the special economic zone that is the Val, mm-hmm. is located across all of these three oh, okay, areas. Okay, so okay. You, it, it, unlike, unlike Silverton in, in Swan Automotive SEZ, where it's purely automotive, mm. here we have to take into account the special attributes of the geography. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's not one body of land that we're talking about. It's parcels of land throughout the district as a whole. So you'll find that in, in, in the Lesedi local municipality towards Heidelberg, you'll get a lot more agro-processing orientated, mm-hmm. even though you have some manufacturing enterprises um, that are there. For example, in that SZ, in that land parcel that is in, in Heidelberg, we have a company that's getting on site that's making a composite, gas cylinders. You know, they come in steel normally. Yeah, the LPG yeah, cylinders. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. so that company is using plasticky materials, composite materials, which are safer, so it melts if there's a problem, whereas, you know, the steel cylinder mm-hmm. explodes and it creates, mm-hmm. you know, if there is a problem. Yeah. So, and two, they are clear and you can see where the level of oh, yeah. mm-hmm. so because you don't mm-hmm. want to be robbed when you go to the <laughs> federal <laughs> station so you can see that yeah. so it's higher safety but it's also environmentally friendly mm-hmm. because you can recycle mm-hmm. the material much easier yeah. it's lighter you know so it's where the world is going in respect of that so that is happening in the in, in the in the Heidelberg portion of mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. in 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 the Midval portion with looking at investors in the agro processing sec- in, in the agro processing space mm-hmm. uh, food manufacturing businesses we're looking at uh, me- um, uh, um, medicinal can- uh, cannabis hub in that area and then in Mfulene, which is the largest portion of mm-hmm. the you know in terms of population and area uh, Mfulene, in Mfulene, you we're looking at a hydrogen valley innovation hub mm-hmm. because the, the key there is to is to decarbonize, is to allow industry to remain competitive by making sure that they produce in a greener way. It's green yeah. industrialization, mm-hmm. which means you need renewable energy components, mm-hmm. which you can manufacture there, which means you need to generate renewable energy there. Mm-hmm. Does so, it have anything to do with the location next to the river or not really? It does, in fact. It helps that it's, ne- it's located mm-hmm. next to the river mm-hmm. uh, because you do need uh, water uh, mm-hmm. for some of these greener ways of of, mm. of 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 producing energy so it does it does contribute but the water itself is is in itself uh, an economic uh you know resource mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in this and i mean if you think about the rest of the world you know the big cities are built around riverways whether you're in london or, or in sweden somewhere or in france or in mm-hmm. germany 
the riverways are where you build in the you yes, build yes, the big yes. city. So mm-hmm. what has happened in the Val is it's just a body of water. You extract mm-hmm. it for you know human consumption plus uh, you have recreation plus you have some um, industrial, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But fundamentally, it creates an opportunity to to build a city around mm-hmm. that area. Uh, among other things, yeah. which is why there's a uh, Val River City mm. development there. Mm. Uh, now, the, and originated yeah, community. the mm. places you have mentioned, you know, mm. you've mentioned um, uh, Heidelberg, yes. and Fulani, yes, yes. and I think there's a bit of uh, uh, of, uh, of Sasolberg, yes, yes, a bit yes, of yes, Midval. Yes, yes. Yes. Do, do, do the sectors have necessarily to talk to each other, to be interlinked, to belong in an economic zone? No, in look, a, in an it, so it's a very good question. So there are there are rules for getting an SZ license, mm. and those rules are very specific. You can't just say I have a piece of land, so please declare it as an mm. SZ. Mm. There has to be a strategic rationale, a sector development strategic rationale mm. that says I have some universities that can do the research and innovation. I have mm. some science science councils that are located here. I have land. I have water. I have man- mineral resources. Or I have you know, expertise, I have skills, uh, you know, and and I'm located ideally to be able to take advantage of this. Mm-hmm. And I have a track record and a history of a particular sector. So now you need to just, <laughs> it's green industrialization, you know, how do you do it in a, on a lower carbon uh, a footprint way yeah. so mm-hmm. that you can remain competitive? You know, that in respect of uh, internal combustion engines, for example, into Europe, by 2035, mm-hmm. you know, you we won't can't be able to. See. to so now, the, yeah. you know, in this stuff that you need to do, otherwise you collapse that. If mm-hmm. we don't do this, mm-hmm. then you collapse the industries yeah, that are yeah, located in South yeah, Africa, yeah, yeah. Uh, in that zone that are creating so many jobs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But but do they, do do they actually? Could you give us an example of sectors which talk to each other in the zone? Okay, so le, le, so there's something at the moment that the Gauteng Province is part of. We as the Valleys that are part of. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it involves the free state as well. It's called uh, the Val um, Vertic, Val Energy Transition uh, Industrial Cluster. Mm-hmm. So it's a variety of businesses. It includes all the large companies in the area. Mm-hmm. Um, it would include Sasol, Metal. It would include us as the Valleys, and any other companies in the industries they call uh, hard to abate industries that have a, a, dif- a, dif- a difficulty in terms of the level of the carbon footprint that they have. Yeah. So through that instrument, the industries themselves are collaborating in order to determine a low carbon hard future. You know, mm-hmm. so people are making commitments. What will happen in 2050? What does it mean for 2030? What does it mean for 2025? And collaborating. Uh, in order to achieve that goal. Mm-hmm. So some things that someone produces or or come out as a byproduct of their manufacturing processes can be used in a circular com- uh, economy fashion oh, okay. by someone else to add value mm-hmm. such mm-hmm. that you lower, you know, mm-hmm. you lower the emissions, you lower mm-hmm. you reduce the, the the carbon footprint. Mm-hmm. So that's how it, that's how it happens. But you know our our approach as the Val SZ is to use a clustering approach. So mm. we don't talk when we don't talk to just one company. We identify, for example, that in Mfulen you want a hydrogen valley. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So we want people who will generate the hydrogen. I you know you know uh, through electrolyzers and produce. So they, in order to do that, they mm. have to produ- they have to be solar farms and solar parks or mm. wind generation or other forms of renewable energy production. Mm. Mm-hmm. That must feed into the the companies that generate the hydrogen mm-hmm. uh, by using you know um, electrolyzers to produce mm-hmm. hydrogen and what. Then the companies that will add value and make it into products that are exportable or utilized for the green hydrogen or as a, as a vector for energy use as an alternative, a greener alternative. Mm-hmm. Then we have companies who make the the components required for this full value chain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who must make components that are used in the generation of you know renewable energy components throughout the value chain uh, up to up to the retail level mm. so so that's what you do there in 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 midval you you have a, a medicinal cannabis hub but you can also do things called agrivoltaics which is 
you, 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 do, you generate renewable energy through solar, but you lift the solar panels off the ground such that you have agricultural produce and oh, processing okay, okay. below. Mm-hmm. And then you generate the electricity up from above to fund mm-hmm. the production mm-hmm. low. Mm-hmm. And then you have access that you can sell mm-hmm. uh, to the industrial basin. In, 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 uh, in Lesedi, the, enti- the location of Lesedi is, is advantageous from a logistics point of view. We are sitting on the way on the entry down to um, down to uh, Devon, but you can also go to the Free State, but mm-hmm. you also go to the northern parts of of Gauteng and beyond. So then there's an airport there, Heidelberg Airport, which mm-hmm. is part of the land parcels that are in the Val SCZ. So there's a huge opportunity for developing, you know, logistics a logistics hub there, mm-hmm. which is what we're pursuing. But there are also people interested in investing in defense, manufacturing of defense component, helicopter mm-hmm. blades, oh, okay. stuff like mm-hmm. that. So mm-hmm. you create this hub mm-hmm. concept mm-hmm. there so mm-hmm. that you have a dedicated... Yeah. 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 I, I wanted to ask, you know, because mm-hmm. some people are super interested in mm-hmm. it. Heineken. Yes. Is it in the... In no, the it's SZ not. Or is it outside? It's, it's outside. Because but it we have to the to the area. No, no, no. no. So back. yes. So uh, so we actually are we are on the border with Heineken. Mm-hmm. Now you remember this SZ is a concept that is just more recent than the investment yes, by, yes, yes, by, yes, by by yes. Heineken. Yes. So so there's a there's a there's a Clip River Business Park, um, which is not far from uh, Eye of Africa uh, property. Mm-hmm. There, there's land owned by Randwater. That has been made available to the Val SZ for development mm-hmm. of the SZ, um, and the, the Clip River Business Park, which borders us, is a private development, mm-hmm. and we are um, we are an SZ, which is a, a government-driven initiative, mm-hmm. uh, but an independent company of the of, of, of the government, and both. Of, so I see it as an industrial basin. Mm-hmm. I, you know, so you will find that there will be people who locate within our SZ that will supply to the to the other manufacturers like Heineken okay, located okay. nearby. Well, close by, but not necessarily, necessarily in, inside. I- inside, yeah. Inside. So mm-hmm. how, how do you, and do, 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 do businesses come to you or to government and say, we want to go to the Val SZ or... Twenty percent of the or time, or is it your job? Or is it your job to go around? Twenty percent of the time, businesses <laughs> come to come to us. Eighty percent is guys, us. We want you to come. Yeah. And and do do you are there incentives? Do you have to find you that you have to incentivize so, them to go there? Or uh, so so well, look look the word incentives is is can be somewhat loaded because mm-hmm. some people will say no I want tax pay I want tax yes, pay yes yes so when I you know I, so I I, I I try and avoid referencing mm-hmm. it as incentives yeah. I talk about benefits, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. so the benefit of locating in an SZ is multifold. For example, I've just told you about this yeah. clustering concept mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because that makes it easier for government and other uh, sub- funders to say, I want my resources to go to that because mm-hmm. it's working, it's an ecosystem. Mm-hmm. The second thing is we are partly owned by national government, 30%, a third, provincial government, a third, and local government, a third, the company. Right, mm-hmm. which means everyone who must make decisions about uh, any approvals, regulations, who must accelerate anything is a shareholder and sits mm-hmm. there on our board, and we have access uh, to those to those entities. That's one of the biggest. It it increases the ease of doing business because mm-hmm. this the regulatory hurdle yeah. that that is sometimes difficult to overcome mm-hmm. outside of the SZ. And I'm not suggesting that it should be difficult. It should be easy even outside, mm-hmm. but I'm saying it's it's much easier to resolve those issues. Oh, you know, okay. The mm-hmm. speed with which you can do an EIA, mm-hmm. the speed with which you can get you know mm-hmm. a municipal mm-hmm. approvals, etc., etc., etc. So those are the incentives. The tax is is secondary, and um, I can be. Let me just be blunt. National Treasury is not eager to just be handing out you know you know, you know tax mm-hmm. tax incentives. Mm-hmm. So they are, there are only six SZs in the country that have been allowed. To, to take advantage of the tax rules that are included. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. okay. and, and, and I don't think that there'll be too many of those. So okay. we have to demonstrate that the infrastructure is world-class, that the services we offer are good, that the, thing, the place is maintained, that we can assist you with many other things. Mm. You just come in, plug and play, and, and deliver you know, mm. to your customers. Mm. We'll make your life easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of, of course, the, the having 
and and SEZ in a place like like yes. the Val mm. would help with employment. Oh, without a doubt, mm. it, it's the primary objective, mm. you know, because. As I was describing, I just don't remember the numbers well, but it's a multiple of four. Something like, at at its peak, as, you know, there, there were twenty thousand people employed by the steel mm. industry. There, now it's five thousand. Mm. All of those people, you know, are very skilled people who know how to work in a high or precision engineering or or high, you know, advanced manufacturing or heavy uh, industry, and they have skills. So. They lost the jobs because mm. the industries are mm. collapsing because mm. there's there's a change in in, yes. in, in, in yeah. market forces yeah. globally. Yeah. So you, you so you, instead of having them leave mm. the Val and go to other parts, Gauteng and beyond, mm. Mm. you you wanna make you wanna make sure that you know you bring them back and you give them opportunity where they come from. You'll get other people from elsewhere, but fundamentally you wanna you want to resuscitate re invigorate the economy yeah. of the Val. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, and and just one more point. You see, normally SEZs are seen as just a, a piece of land that the impact is within the fence. It's, it goes way beyond that um, because SEZs, you must see them in the context of regional economic development. So we don't just say, no, if you're outside, we can't help you. Yes. You know, so mm. we look for ways in which there are linkages and, and synergies. Mm. To, mm. to drive a, economic development mm. broadly. So j- j- just finally, yes. the, wh- wh- what is the big idea? We don't, you don't have to give the, let us into the deep secrets yes, of yes. the SEZ. Yes, yes. But, but wh- what can we expect to come out of the SEZ going forward? You know, things, so, things that will move it to the next level. You know, so kind of we are on the ground now uh, starting to prepare the construction that's necessary for the investments that will happen. Mm. Uh, there's some substantive investment that has been confirmed and secured that's coming on board. We're collaborating with the universities uh, and the educational institutions to build the skills required to do that. We have opportunities for enterprise development. We have to we have to build in the old industrial parks within the townships and in other areas the capacity to supply as supplier parks and feed into these mm-hmm. value chains that are in the SEZ. So fundamentally, you're trying to, <laughs> to transition the entire economy of the Val mm-hmm. into a more sustainable path mm-hmm. with the most impact, jobs, yeah. you know, uh, enterprise development. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's essentially it. Okay. Well, yeah. Mr. Stolle, thank you very much no, for thank you, joining thank us. You, thank you very, very much. Very interesting for... work that you're doing down yeah, there in the Val yeah, yeah, yeah. SEZ. Uh, is, uh, thank you very pretty, much for, yeah. for joining us and sharing uh, some of the nuggets of, no. of, of, what, 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 of the work that you're doing uh, I appreciate in the Val the uh, mm. SEZ. Mm. Uh, that was um, Mr. Stolle, who's the CEO of the Val Special Economic Zone.